don't know how to dance to bebop. Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. Today we are taking on the next case on the arson desk, A Walk in Elysian Fields. Seems like Big's gotten a huge lead on us, so we might as well try to run to catch up with him. Beat her up so bad. I found him. See, he's already waiting in the car. Alright. Well, I forgot there's no exit from this way. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Big? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Hirsch. Tell me about it. There's no housing developments. A couple of weeks from completion. Burnt to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. Velcro's gonna have some very angry customers. Any in the vicinity of citizens? Shit, Chuck. The arson trying to nail that son of a bitch for you. He's still in custody, Hirsch. Wanna bet? Fella kicked the moose already. And hope for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Alright. Well, that is a pity that Chapman from the last case is no longer in custody. But we do have a street crime. God damn it. responding. have to go all the freaking way around. Why don't we have a ghost car? Ghost car would be awesome, being able to just drive through walls and not actually destroy them. Cops! Shit! Stop! LAPD! Oh. And here I thought this was going to be a foot chase. Well, damn. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Ah! I'm trying. But damn it all, the controls don't Somebody screw me up again. Ah! He spun me out instead! What bullshit! Keep it steady and I'll try to bust this tire. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. What do you want to do? Do you want to... Whoa! Well, that worked. I don't quite know what happened, but that worked. But I'm scared to go to prison, mister. Well, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. So there you go. Another suspect arrested and off the streets. Hey, by the way, that was the second to last street crime. We're almost there. We're almost frickin' there. Alright. Just need to double check and make sure I didn't miss anything. Idiot. But I don't think I have. No, I think I'm doing pretty okay for myself. Alright. Let's head to the street to the uh, mission marker then. Unless we get that last street crime. I don't actually know what time of day it shows up, but well if it happens to be today in the middle of the day, then I think we're in luck. Because I really hope we do get to it before the end of this mission. Because I won't spoil right now what it is, but let's just say after this mission, we won't be able to do any more street crimes for the remainder of the story mode.
god. Again with the redevelopment fund. Huh. Oh, so wait. I just double checked here. And apparently I screwed up. One of those street crimes is actually supposed to take place. We only unlocked one street crime here. See this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Okay, so I screwed up. I unlocked four street crimes in the last uh, mission, and only one this time. So I may have already screwed myself out of the last street crime. But what could need a strong stomach? I ask you. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Else? Be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire of damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? Strange. Ugh. That's just sick. What are you doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Uh. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. Mm. Another day, it's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. But what about the guy we have in jail, though? Got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? Sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Yeah. Evidence! Um. Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what these are big. Hmm. Over here. Ooh, a flashlight. I could use one. Aww. I don't know why I'm walking around in a badly damaged and burnt house like this. Oh, that's not important at all. So, yeah. Why did, uh... Pigs just, pigs just run out of there. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys, on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? All right. You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. 
We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. So now we're gonna scope the neighbors. Let's see what we can find around here. We don't look here. like a fireman, sorry. What have we here? Cigarettes. Boot prints. I was married by a judge. Should have had Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Huh. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. Let's see what else we have around here. Um, where is it? Oh, wait. I'm looking the wrong place for what I'm looking for. Should be over here. You might be wondering what I'm looking for. Well, I'm looking for a newspaper. Haha. -ha. Lying out here, out of the way. You'd never expect to find it here. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you, but now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, Doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for. I'm not confused anymore, Doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. This is troubling. Incredibly troubling, in fact. Right, okay, I've been screwing around enough. Let's head over across the street to talk with, uh, this guy here. See what he has to say. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Okay. Let's see what he has to say then. Did you see or hear anything that might have. Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. I doubt that. It's a freaking explosion. It would have woken you up. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Huh. What about the suspicious activity, then? Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Well, that's a weird thing to say. I don't think you're telling me the full truth. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Huh. What about these demolitions? You said someone is knocking these houses down. Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Well, you kind of made an inference to it earlier, and you're kind of uncomfortable now, so... Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. I see. And the promotional travel contest? You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. 
Then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. That uh, seems like he's a bit odd, but you know, at least kind of odd as he is. But he is looking at us, so I guess he's telling the truth. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. I have a feeling I know what it already call? is. A couple of things. What did you pick up? All the piece of paper. It's complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. An origami crane. Strange. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hmm. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? Elysian Fields. For Elysian Fields developments. By Le Leland Monroe. Huh, finally, we got a face to match with that name. Oh. I see you already have one. Uh, when did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Interesting. So now I have a phone number as well, but before we go any further, let's go check into that there is one other thing we need to look for while we're here. I can find it. It'll be around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. A water heater. Looks like the same model. And Varley was also working on this one. Hmm. Well, let's go use that game well then. I want to see. Excuse me, officer. I want to see. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? He leads on the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. We have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Uh. Kelty has warned us off over a leisure. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Okay. Well, we might as well not go to Elysian then for the time being. We just got in the wrong car. I just realized this. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. I'm in the coroner's car. That is awesome. I hope no one minds. Hello, Mr. Tow Truck. You want to race, do you? Well, I'm faster, because I'm a coordinator. Ah, 
I guess it was only funny the first time when I accidentally got into this guy's car. Oh well. Seriously though, are we not there yet? Are we going to have a street crime or not? The coroner's car is still considered a police vehicle, so it should still get broadcasts. Well, I don't know what time of day the uh, street crimes actually occur at, so maybe... Well, well, I definitely hear police jargon, so it has to be... It has to be a valid police vehicle. You know, looking to the hills there, I can't help but see the term Hollywood Land. Was that actually what it was called initially? Hollywood Land? Look on the bright side, Biggs, is at least it's not your car. Oh, and look, Biggs' car just happens to be there already. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is America, safe, dickhead. Sir. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Smart son of a bitch. Hey. Sorry, Zach. Black and blue. Hey. Come on. Stand down. That's an order. I'm gonna bust you. Bam, down. bam. Okay, there we go. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Right. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. So, here we basically have a property which was caused by a fire or something. Let's see what I can find out here. Whoa. That popped out pretty darn fast. The mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? You'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Strange. Whoa! I don't think a fire could do this. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's fight the bullet and get on with it. All right. Well, that's. Let's just take this police car. I don't want to take the coroner's vehicle anymore. We're just gonna play musical cars. Why not? Hope the coroner doesn't mind that we borrowed his vehicle for a short time. Oh, for God's sakes! What? Alright, I guess I might as well mark Legion so I know how to get there. Wasn't my fault. He ran into me. Still waiting to see if I get that last street crime or not. Come on, street crime. I know you're there. I know they're available beyond just the scope of the current mission on which they are unlocked. For Pete's sakes, I was doing missions from one desk on another. Not from one desk on another, but from like... Man, you, you all still know what I mean. Alright, so let's run over then. 
to the front door.